Hi everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs, and today I'm doing a test with some Liquid Diamonds casting resin. Um, I'm just going to make some small jewelry items, and I got the Liquid Diamonds from the Epoxy Resin Store, and there's a discount code below for um, a 20% off, and you can also find product links below, like these little bottles that I put the resin in just to make it easier to do smaller amounts. And um, I'm using just a little pocket scale here to weigh it. Um, you can do this resin by weight or volume. And you always wanna make sure you put the hardener in first. And so I just put in how much I thought I would um, wanna do. And then I looked through the different options on the scale to see which one I wanted to go by. And I'm doing grams and I just had 8.2 grams, which is 16.4 of the resin then. Um, and when I started pouring, I didn't like that the, the cap was basically too small and it created a lot of bubbles. So I just took that off and then um, added more in to get the two to one ratio. And I just stirred it all really well, scraping the bottoms, the sides and the stick, um, getting some of the little bubbles that did happen um, just off the top there. And then I let it sit for five minutes, grabbed any additional bubbles cleaned out the mold with my airbrush and um, I'm just going to start pouring in some of the little sections here of this mold and I love this mold um, I just got it actually and I'll definitely include a link below for that as well and this little scooper is just something I got that came with a mold a long time ago um, it's just nice to to use for little amounts like this um, I'll include a link for some little taster spoon type things um, because I can find where exactly I got those. So in some of them, I'm gonna add some little seashells that I got. And again, with this, I'm not sure where I got it. It was either the dollar store, uh, like Dollar Tree or Walmart, but I'm just gonna pick some out and put them inside of the resin in the cup. And then this way, I can actually get the little air bubbles that form inside of the shells out before I put them inside the mold. So I'm just gonna go in and I just keep turning them around and moving them around in the resin. Um, so that way the air bubbles rise to the opening there. And then I'll just take a toothpick and fish those out of each of them. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the bubbles out. Um, and then I just popped what was there really quick with a little um, lighter. And then I'm just using some plastic tweezers here to add them to the mold. And then I'll go through with a toothpick and the tweezers and place them pretty much exactly the way that I want them um, facing and everything like that. And then I'm just going to add more resin um, to empty sections here just because I had some left over. And I also wanted to create some other pendants. The little hearts are going to be pendants and earrings that go well and you'll see that here in a little bit. And I'm just spreading the resin around, making sure I get everything kind of filled in. And I will be doing um, layers on top of these as well. But I, for some of them, I'm gonna use some pinata alcohol inks. You can also get these from the epoxy resin store. I'm gonna use some Santa Fe red and sunshine, sunshine yellow, uh, teal, rainforest green. I had that Blanco Blanco at the beginning, um, as well as the rich gold. And I'm gonna start with the teal and the sun bright yellow. And then I decided I wanted to add some silver in there as well, so I grabbed that. And since it's a mixative, you definitely wanna make sure you shake up the silver, the gold, and the white. And I just did one drop of each one and then added one drop of the white on top. And I've got that rainforest green and the Santa Fe red going and I added some of the gold in there and then I just took a toothpick and I swirled it around. I wanted to see what that would do in these little molds. And it, and it also helps push down the additives of the gold and the silver. And in this one, I just grabbed the teal, a drop of teal, a drop of silver, a drop of white. And I've got that Santa Fe red, a little bit of gold, and uh, a drop of white on top of that and uh, I grabbed the Sun Bright Yellow here and the Santa Fe Red for that one. Again, one drop of each with the white on top. I kind of wanted to mimic the uh, heart pendant as well, so I just had the Santa Fe Red and gold. 
and then I just cover it with a sheet of transparency film that I just folded up to have it uh, rest above it and I let it sit for about 45 minutes because I was going to add some stuff to these cavities here and when I went to go do that I noticed there was kind of a slight film on the top and I'm not really sure why it does that um, I've had it happen after um, when I've used the resin again still haven't quite figured out what that's go what's happening there so if you know definitely come up comment below and let us know and I've just got some uh, purple and pink little shell flakes here and I'm just adding it to the one cavity taking a toothpick mixing it around um, and making sure it's all kind of spaced out and floating a little bit that's why I let the resin sit to let it set up just a little and I've got some decorative filler sand that I picked up at Michael's. I'm sorry, not Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm just gonna spread that with the shells. Again, I wanted to wait so it didn't just sink to the bottom. Um, so I'm just adding it so it'll sit on top and, and not go in front of the shells really. I'm just adding it to both of these little seashell hearts here. Grab some more of the little uh, shell flakes. Had some turquoise, some black, and some white. Added that to this other little cavity and mixed that around. Getting it nice and spread out. I'm using this lighter um, instead of a torch just to help preserve the mold itself and not damage the mold. So I covered that up, let it cure, and the next day I've got some more of the liquid diamonds mixing here. Again, I did it by uh, weight, and I grabbed some Mehron gold metallic powder, and then some Flow Art resin liquid pigments that you can also pick up from the epoxy resin store. And I'm just mixing it up into little amounts of resin here, and I'm going to put this on the back of those that I already did and um, just give those a little backing color. I've got the gold, I fold in the powder and then stir it in so I don't get any puffs of powder coming in. Got the white mixed up and the black. It's a little hard to squeeze it out of these bottles. Um, I actually cut the tip of the white off to help it come out. It's a little bit thicker than the others. So I'm just gonna add some gold to the back of some of these here and I'm just using that spatula to make sure I don't overfill the mold or anything. And with some of the extra, I'm just gonna fill some of the empty cavities and then just have some random little pieces for later pieces of jewelry or something down the road. I'm gonna do the same with the white and fill in some of these on the back here. And then I'm gonna go in with the black on one. I grabbed some Baja Blue alcohol ink and I've just got it in this um, applicator bottle. Um, it's got a smaller tip on it. Sometimes it helps to control the, the ink a little bit better. And I just put a few drops in to keep it transparent. And then I let that sit for a little bit, finished off the black and some extra empty cavities here and uh, popped any bubbles, emptied out that gold. And then I'm just gonna use this transparent blue on the back of the seashells here and then also um, create some other little um, items with more seashells so i'm just going to grab some more of those and um, i'm going to do the same thing as i did with the heart ones and i'm going to add those to the resin and mix them around um, rotate them around so that the bubbles rise and then i'll fish those out with a toothpick and um, it just helps so that way there's no bubbles in the finished piece as well. And I love this liquid diamonds um, for how low viscosity it is. Um, it's so like water that there's very little bubbles in it. So I'm just gonna add that, uh, the rest of that transparent here to those shells and fill that up. And then hit everything with the flame real quick to pop any bubbles, cover it up and let it cure. And then here are the finished little pieces to demold. So you can see those. Start off with some of the seashells. 
And I love how the sand turned out. You know, it didn't get in front of the shells. You can still see it. It was a little hard to, um, to see. I think I made the blue just a little too dark. Um, but I wanted to make sure I could see both sides because the shells were so cute and, and different. So I wanted to make sure you could see through. And then this is the one where I just used a drop of the teal and silver and white. Definitely love the detail of that one. And these are the little ones that I'm going to make into earrings. I just made them opposite because I'm making them in, into earrings. That way they can be a little, um, they can go well together without being the same. And then here's the pendant that'll go with them. I'll just put a little eye hook, um, screw a little hole in the, in the top of the heart there and put an eye hook in there, attach it to a necklace. Same with this little pendant. I'll probably have it um, where the point is facing down and, and put a little eye hook in the top there in the rounded part. And then this is another one um, of the Petri style. Had that teal and sun bright yellow with the silver. And I think um, it's definitely better to wait um, and let the resin set up a little bit. So 45 minutes to an hour before you drop the inks um, in such a, so a small mold. That way, it's not just kind of fully covered and you can see the inside detail better. And then these are just the little shell ones. It's really hard to see um, these since I put them in the blue colored resin. Um, so I'm going to put some white on that, I think. And then I've just got the little gold pieces here. can always add that to something down the road. Same with um, the little black ones. And I love how I can have little different shapes I can put them all together or use them individually. Uh, so that's, that's really nice to have just little extra pieces for down the road. And I don't have to buy beads or anything. So that's great. I'll just pop out these other gold ones here, just a little bit bigger than the other ones. I really love how that Mayron gold is in a mold too. It's just so pretty. And then here's the one with the little shell flakes. I love how this one turned out. I'll make this and uh, this little uh, pink and purple one into some magnets. Just little cute things. And there you go. So I'll just set them all up here so you can see them all. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Definitely give the video a thumbs up, please. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that bell notification button so you know when I upload videos every time. And if you'd like to support my channel, there's also links down below for uh, PayPal and Patreon. And also an Amazon wish list. And I will see you guys later.